So in 1947, I worked for the Bell Canada. And then I got a transfer to Welland. Reading the paper, I became very interested in politics. It stated that the Ministry of Environment is transferring toxic waste to Welland. I thought, they can't do this. It would have all drained into the canal. So next council meeting, I brought it up. Apparently, no one else read it. I called the library and arranged for a public meeting, and the place was full. We gathered 20,000 names on the petition, and we won. Somebody with a little fight in them had to stand up there and fight for what we needed. I made up my mind, if I run for council, I want to know the people that I would be representing. And at that time, I had a huge ward. By election time, it was snowing. And I was walking through snow up to just about my knees. I didn't mind it. I can say that I've walked all over the city. I learned a lot through politics. Oh, those councillors fought like crazy, calling each other names. These are people representing Welland. When I got on council, it wasn't like that. At first, I, I, I was nervous being on council. I was nervous about giving my point of view. But boy, that wore off in a hurry. We had an abandoned canal going through town. I had had it in my head that that would be a perfect place to have a rowing club. The sports editor advertised for me for anyone interested in starting up a rowing club. Two years before anyone responded. You know, I wanted to get it started. I feel the rowing club was a real accomplishment. You have to be proud of crews that come home with a, a gold medal. That drew a lot of from all over the world. Welland is an industrial town, and there were many men that were retiring. It hurt to see some of them all by themselves and couldn't go anywhere. I was very happy to see a senior center go up, and that was where they would come for their main meal of the day. It was very nice, you got to know a lot of people. Those were good times. I really wish I could still volunteer. I'm at an age now where I can't do very much. I love the city of Welland. I know it well, and I feel that I've grown to know them well. They seem to have appreciated anything that I've tried to help them with. It's been 22 years since I've been out of politics. And when somebody comes up and says, I remember you, maybe I did something good after all. <laughs> <laughs>